Welcome to our lecture online. So here we have a nice example. Let's say that we have a manufacturer that manufactures matches. And the manufacturer knows that 0.1% of all matches produced are defective. And they sell matches in boxes of 50. Now what would be the probability that zero of the matches in the box are defective? How about one in the box are defective or one or more of the matches are defective. How would we calculate that? Well, we need our equation for binomial distribution and a binomial random variable, and that is that p of x is equal to nx times the probability that x equals successful, with other words, no defect, and we raise that to the x power. And, well, let's see here. If we're going to let x be the number of defective matches, then how about if x is defective? How about that? Let's do that. That x is defective times that the probability that x is not defective, the number that are not defective, to the, that would be n minus x power. And that should do it. All right, that should be the equation. So, how do we put in some numbers for x equals 0, for example? So we have the probability that x equals 0, meaning no defective matches in the box of 50. So that means we have 50 matches and 0 defective, times the probability that x is defective. So that, well, what is the probability that x is defective? Well, if the rate of defective is 0.1%, that would be 1 in a thousand. So the probability that x is the defective match is 1 in 1,000, and we're going to raise that to the 0 power. Because we're looking for the probability that x equals 0. And then we have the probability that x is not defective. That would be 999 out of 1,000. 999 out of 1,000. And in that case, we have n minus x. That would be 50 minus 0, or to the 50th power. All right, let's go ahead and see what that's equal to. So that would be equal to 50 factorial divided by 0 factorial times 50 minus 0 factorial. 1 over 1,000 to the 0 power. Well, anything to the 0 power is always equal to 1, so that would be equal to 1. And here we have 999 over 1,000 raised to the 50th power. Aren't we lucky that we have calculators? Because that would be difficult to do without a calculator. Now here, we have 50 factorial over 50 factorial. Well, that's essentially equal to 1. So I have 1 times 1 times 999 over 1,000 raised to the 50th power. So let's see what that's equal to with our calculator. 999 divided by 1,000 raised to the 50th power. And we get... 0.9512, which is equal to 95.12%. That means you have a 95, roughly 95% 95 chance that the box you pick up has no defective matches. Hmm. So that means if you buy 100 boxes, you can think you can think of it as 95 of them will have no defective matches. Now the other ones, the other five out of 100, roughly, would either have one defective match or more than one defective match. So now let's try to calculate the case where it's one defective match and then one or more defective matches. Okay, let's do that. So the probability that x equals one. So it would be 50 and one like this times 1 over 1,000 raised to the first power times 999 over 1,000 raised to the 50 minus 1 or 49 power. All right. So 50 over 1 turned into factorial, so end up with 50 factorial divided by 1 factorial divided by 49 factorial. And then we multiply it times 1 over 1,000 raised to the 1 power, which is simply 1 over 1,000, times 999 over 1,000 raised to the 49th power. Now, what is this equal to? Well, 50 factorial divided by 49 factorial is simply equal to 50, because 49 times 48 times 47 and so forth gets canceled out with the denominator. 
So that would be equal to 50 times 1 over 1,000 times 999 over 1,000 raised to the 49 power. Okay, so that would be equal to, so 999 divided by 1,000 raised to the 49 power. Multiply that times 50 and divide by 1,000. And we end up with 0 0.0476, which is 4.76%. So we have 4.76% that you end up with one defective match in a box of 50. You have 95.12% uh, that, um, that you'll have zero matches that are defective. Hmm, so what's the probability? Actually, you know what? I'm going to add another question. D, what's the probability that you end up with x being greater or equal to 2? Because if we have this much probability to get 0 and this much probability to get one defective match, then whatever is remaining out of 100 would answer this question right here. And what would be the answer to this one right here? Well, notice the answer for C can already be found by simply having the answer for A. Because if it's 95.12% that we have zero defective, then what's remaining up to 100 will give you the percentage that there's one or more defective. So we can already answer C. For C, we simply have 100% minus the percent for having zero defective, this is for all possibilities, minus the probability that zero defective matches will occur in the box, and the remainder is zero. Oh, now I'll go ahead and put it in percentage format. So we have 4.88% that we have one or more um, one or more defective matches in a box. And if we want to have two or more defective in a box, well, then we have to take 100. So for D, we'll take 100%. And we subtract, first of all, the probability that we have zero defective, which is 95.12%. And then we subtract the, prob the probability that we'll have one defective match, which is 4.76%. And then, let's see here, when we add this together, that would be 88, 4.88. 99.88 or 0.12% to have two or more defective matches inside a box of 50. Now that's probably acceptable if you have a box of 50 matches and there's only about a 5% chance that you'll have one or more defective, there's only 0.12% chance you'll have two or more defective, you probably can live with that and most of the time about 95% of the time, you'll pick up a box of matches and there'll be no defective matches in the box. So, that's pretty good, and that is how you calculate that. So now you can get a job at a manufacturing plant where they make matches, and you can tell them what the probability is that a customer will have either a box of 50 matches with zero defects, one defect, or more than one defective matches. And that is how it's done.